Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Winix 5500-2 air purifier. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on it, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents just based off my experience and let you know what I thought about it. Um, should mention too real quick that I actually found a pretty good deal on it, and I'll put a link below in the description so you guys can check that deal out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. First and foremost, uh, the most important thing about this air purifier is it is a true HEPA filter. Um, one thing to note about that is it doesn't matter if you spend $1,000 on a Dyson or $1,500 or $2,000 on an air purifier. If it's a true HEPA filter, it's going to filter the exact same amount of particles, allergens, and everything else, pollutants, out of the air. Uh, so in my opinion, it's really not worth it to spend all that extra money on those units when you can get the same type of filtration in a unit like this for much, much less. So why do those other units cost so much and this one doesn't? Well, sometimes uh, typically they have like apps or you, where you can control it from the internet or something like that or uh, turn it off or on from anywhere in the world. And for me personally, I don't care about that. I turn this on, I leave it on automatic, and I have not touched it uh, since then. It automatically senses the quality of the air like 50 times per second and adjusts the, the fan speed accordingly. So really, I don't see the point of having those apps or needing those apps. Um, like I said, I just leave it on and it just does its thing. You never have to touch it or worry about it again. Um, one other thing I have noticed with other units, sometimes the cheaper units don't have very good fans in them, so they're a little loud. That's not the case at all with this Winix. Uh, very, very quiet unit. You really don't even know it's on unless you get within about two or three feet, your ear within about two or three feet of the unit. And when it's running, on, and that's when it's running on, like it's automatic. Now it's going to run on low 99% of the time. Um, it's basically going to just continue to refresh the air in your room all the time on low. And it will turn itself up if you're like maybe cooking inside or grilling inside or something like that where it notices it needs to. But when it's on low, like I said, two or three feet away, you, you won't even know it's on. Even when it's on high, you can hear it from maybe 10 feet away. Like I said, it only runs on high maybe once a week for about five minutes, so it's really not even worth talking about, but it's still very quiet. It's a very good brushless motor that they put inside. Um, it has this technology in it called Plasma Wave. I leave that on all the time. Um, it's not an ozone generator, which is good. Um, they've found that ozone is not actually a good thing to breathe in all the time. So you want to avoid air purifiers that have ozone generators inside. This just has this little, they call it plasma wave, but basically what it does is it just kind of, it's a static electric shock that can break down um, odors and uh, particles in the air a little bit more efficiency before it, in, before it hits the uh, HEPA filter itself. It does have a carbon filter in it as well, and it does have a basically like a large particle filter, like it's like a screen basically that you can take out. Uh, they recommend cleaning it, you know, once every few months or so. Um, but that's nice to have because it keeps your carbon filter and your HEPA filter, the big particles out of it, so it lasts a lot longer. The HEPA filter, depending of course on the quality of the air, but um, even if you have fairly bad air where you live, you really only have to replace the filters about once a year, truthfully. They say every six months, but you really don't. It's about once a year. And the nice thing about this one is the replacement filters are not that expensive at all. That's another thing to keep in mind uh, with the more expensive units like the Dysons. They charge you a fortune for the replacement filters. These Winix filters, you can get a replacement pack for about $20 per filter. And that comes with the carbon filters as well. So like I said, for the money, it's an amazing deal. I highly recommend this air purifier if you're looking for a really good quality one. And you'd be surprised how, how much of a difference clean air can make in the house. Um, I had really bad springtime allergies that are now gone. If you have pets, anything like that, you'll notice a huge difference in the quality of your air. Um, it's, it's weird, you kind of get used to the dirty air, but once it's clean, you'll really appreciate it, I guess you could say. But anyway, yeah, if you have any more questions about this, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.